Hi, it's Andy Lockwood, collegeplanningguru.com. And here's a question that I wish people would ask me. And that question is, if you had to name one piece of the puzzle that guidance counselors, parents, and kids just didn't get about college planning, what would that piece be? I think the biggest piece of the puzzle that, that sometimes escapes guidance counselors, parents, and kids, but when I say it, they, you know, they, they nod in agreement, is that college is a business. You know, people think of college as this place where they're going to mold young minds, the ivory tower, ivy covered walls, you know, professors, paper chase, you know, that, that type of stuff. And I agree that that's a big part of college, you know, the parties. Okay, I left that out. That type of thing. But at the end of the day, colleges have a product to sell, and that is the value of the education that they give out. Now, that value is highly debatable, uh, particularly in today's economy and rising college prices. But you know, not, nonetheless, keep, think of it as a product. Now, the other thing you should bear in mind is that not everyone pays the same price for that product. So on any given college campus, 25% of the families there are paying full price, only 25%. They are subsidizing the other 75%. How do you get into that 75%? You get in there by understanding that college is a business. That colleges, first of all, are looking for certain types of things. They're looking for you know atypical, interesting kids. They are also looking for, let's face it, international students, kids from other parts of the country, underrepresented minorities, and all sorts of other things like that. But if you're not one of those special categories, and you are strategic about the list of colleges that you apply to, you might end up doing very, very well. So keep in mind that college is not just some, you know, not just nonprofit uh, institutions of higher education. They are actually in business. They need to fill seats. They have salaries to pay. They have overhead to pay. I mean, look, look, look at what they pay their presidents. Look at what they pay other people there. Like presidents sometimes make seven-figure salaries. Um, professors get paid very nicely full-time wages, but they teach one class a semester, two classes a semester. A lot of colleges employ chief marketing officers who make anywhere from two hundred to four hundred thousand dollars per year. Go tour a college, check out where the kids work out, or check where check out where they eat. Uh, you know, it's it's not like they're eating mystery meat and bug juice. They're not working out in in uh, old YMCA buildings. A lot of colleges have have gone off uh, have gone nuts with the amenities, with the country club type amenities or amusement park type amenities. They have wa rock climbing. They have lazy rivers. That money has to come from somewhere. They are businesses. They need more money. They need your money. They need money from the government. They need, you know, you, you name it. So don't overlook that. Please, you know, not to be cynical, but please uh, bear in mind that it's not just about education. There's other stuff going on. If you want some more information, uh, particularly about how we can help you with college planning, check out our, uh, our links below. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Download some information. It's all there for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Andy Lockwood, collegeplanningguru.com. Bye-bye.